All right, what up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Mehta. Welcome to my Bybit Beginner Digital Course. So this is gonna be a free step-by-step -step tutorial that's going to teach you guys everything you need to know about getting started on Bybit. This is going to be video one of about five or 10 videos because I'm gonna really break everything down for the absolute beginner. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to set up an account, how to create your account, verify your email, and then how to actually transfer money from another exchange. We're gonna focus on KuCoin because you guys know me. I think KuCoin's the absolute shadiest and worst exchange. So we're gonna take money and we're gonna transfer money from the worst exchange to the best exchange. And then after that, second video, we'll be talking about functions, how to use everything on Bybit. And I also have a ton of great videos already on Bybit that'll be linked down below in the description. But I wanna make a specific digital course that focuses on how to get an absolute beginner set up on Bybit and how to get you guys comfortable enough with that platform so you know how to use every tool, every function, so before I over talk it, let's just dive in and get right to it. Guess what? I'm not a financial advisor. I may have a plethora of crypto knowledge, but this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. You always need to do your own research. I do not advise that you buy, sell, hodl, trade, or invest in any cryptocurrency. And if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button, turn on those post notifications and smash that subscribe button, I'd be greatly appreciative. And down in the description, you can always find chapter timelines in case you want to skip ahead, affiliate links, and links to my digital course. Now that we got the YouTube police off our back, let's dive in, let's get it. So the first thing you need to know is what is a VPN? So a VPN is a tool or a application that actually helps protect your identity. So anytime you're going into any exchange or logging in, that exchange can track your location based off your IP address. So if you ever don't want anybody to know where your location is actually at, you can use a VPN and it also helps protect your identity because that way somebody can't back back end IP spoof you or whatever they call it. I don't actually know the terminology for it, but using a VPN protects your identity and it also prevents an exchange from knowing where your actual location is. So a lot of these exchanges will say, hey, in order to use this exchange, you need to live in this location. Well, if you don't live in that location or maybe you're on vacation with your friends and family and you're actually in another country and you're using their IP address in that country, this is just one of those options. Now, I'm not saying, 100% not telling you guys to use a VPN to hide your identity. I'm saying if you are in another country on vacation or whatever the case may be and you need to log into your account to check your account, this is the way you need to do it. So I personally use NordVPN, it's my favorite. And then Sweden is probably pretty much the most awesome country ever because anytime you wanna do anything on any exchange anywhere, if you live in Sweden, it's accepted and it's allowed there. So I always just VPN into Sweden. That way I know I'm good and I can pretty much use any exchange anywhere all around the world. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna to go to www.nordvpn.com. Now there's a ton of different offers. For example, you can get a ton of different free VPNs. So personally, I just did the two year plan. So that way I have the VPN for two years and it's like $2.80 a month, but that's in euros. Comes out to like $3.24 a month. So to have my identity protected from a secure and probably the most well-known VPN in the entire world. I don't know if anybody actually speaks highly of any other higher VPN than Nord's. Personally, that's my favorite, that's what I use. So the next trick is once you actually log in to Bybit, you need to set your account up, right? So if you are in somewhere, you logged into your browser already, you always wanna make sure that you actually close out your browser once you turn on your VPN. So I always just close out Firefox, open Firefox back up. Now we're gonna to need to come over to Bybit's homepage. So you're just gonna to go to www.bybit.com. This page is gonna pop up and you're gonna see account login or account sign up. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna to go to the account sign up page and it's always letting you know, please verify the URL is forward slash forward slash www.bybit.com. So you always wanna check up here and make sure that you're actually logged in, you actually have your VPN in, and then you can come over here as well, verify that Sweden is actually on. And one of the cool ways to check that and verify is if you come over here and you do test my internet speed, see how this page pulls up here and it says speed test by Ocala? That lets me know that I'm connected to Sweden because it's trying to run my speed test based off of the Sweden IP address. If you go ahead and search test my internet speed, What's gonna come up is just like the regular Google test where I can actually see the run and speed test button and I can click it right here right now. So that's just one, one way to double check. And if you ever accidentally don't have your VPN on and you log in, it's no big deal. They're just gonna give you a warning sign. So I just then close down the website. Again, close down Firefox, make sure I come back over to Nord, turn my VPN on and I'm good to go. I never have had any issues when I accidentally log in and I don't have my VPN on. It's not like they 
they notice it and they freeze your account or anything that I've seen anyway. So, and I've also never heard of them doing that for anybody ever. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna get started. We're gonna put in our email address down here where it says referral code. You're gonna use my referral code, which is 19834. And this is going to get you an additional 10% off fees and discounts for the first 30 days. And they're gonna give you a $20 sign up bonus and they're gonna give you up to a $50 first time deposit bonus. So we're gonna go over all the bonuses here in a second as well. So you're gonna come over here, you're gonna sign up, you're gonna put your referral code in here, you're gonna hit continue. And then, so it's gonna ask you is, are you in any of these countries? Mainland China, Cuba, Iran, North Korea, Sudan, Singapore, Syria, and the United States. So if you live in any of these countries, obviously you cannot use Bybit and your IP address will be quote unquote blocked. I have read and hit continue. Are you a resident in any of these countries? Just choose no. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna save your password? Now they're going to send you an email verification code. So you're just gonna go over to your email. You will then grab your verification code. It's only valid for five minutes. Congratulations, all that's left to do is fund your account, but we'd love to learn a little bit more about you, right? So you're gonna ask, you know, new to trading, I'm completely new to trading, I need help. New to crypto, I have trading experience, but I'm new to the world of crypto. And then you have expert trader. I trade crypto regularly and I wanna take it to the next level. You just choose which one you are. Personally, I suggest doing I'm new to trading crypto. Now you can see over here, if you're super new, they're going to walk you through everything. So you really don't need any more of my tutorials, but I'm still gonna make them for you guys. So we're gonna say transfer crypto, buy crypto. So you can actually buy crypto directly on Bybit with your credit card, debit card, connect it right to your bank. And then you can just go down here, maybe later. So we'll go maybe later back to home, right? Or we'll just do transfer crypto because that's gonna be the first thing you're gonna need to do. So now you're gonna have to figure out how do you wanna send money to Bybit? I personally use EOS because it's the cheapest. The fees are extremely, extremely cheap, but you can also use USDT and they have a regular USDT and then TRC USDT and then OMNI as well. So TRC is really my favorite because it's only a dollar to transfer. So if I have USDT on KuCoin, for example, I can actually send that USDT over to Vibit just using this link. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna find our USDT. We're gonna make sure we're under our main account and we're gonna choose withdrawal. Now, unfortunately, I spend all my tether because I think it's the biggest uh, fraud in the history of crypto. So I'm always setting out my tether, but this would be the way you'd do it. So you'd click, I have read, I continue, fully understand, blah, 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 blah. Hit continue. Now you're gonna choose your wallet address. So here's one of my Coinbase wallets, for example. If I'm sending it to Coinbase, you can see the options here, ERC20, ERC20. Now, if I were to come over here to Bybit and I were to choose my Tron address, this is what the difference is. One is starts with a T, one starts with a zero X. So when you're sending TRC20, you wanna make sure that the address actually starts with the letter T or TM. We're gonna come over here to KuCoin. We're going to add a new address. We're gonna make sure we choose TRC20. We're gonna paste in, always copy and paste. Never try to type this in manual. Capitals matter, capital lock matters, uppercase, lowercase matter. Every digit has to be exact. Wallet remark, oh, you gotta leave something here, just type in Bybit. Now, anytime you add a new wallet pair, you gotta come over here and type in all your information. All right, now that we have the wallet address added, we can come over here Make sure that we choose our Bybit address. Remember TM for the TRC20. And then again, the minimum maximum amount you can send. And then your USDT fee is only $1. So to send this amount of money, it doesn't matter any amount of money you can send and the fee is only gonna be $1. That's why I always use the TRC address or Tron wallet addresses with USDT because it only cost me a dollar to send any amount of money to Bybit. So I would then hit just hit send and then within a few minutes, it would be over here on Bybit. So that's how you get over and get your account set up on Bybit, how you get your money deposited. And that's gonna be a wrap for video one, guys. The next video, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna be logged into Bybit. We're gonna talk about the user interface, how to actually place trades, how to open and close trades. Everything you need to know about Bybit, we're gonna cover every single aspect. So that way, when you guys get started on Bybit, you guys will know 100% what you guys need to do. So special shout out to everybody that hits that like button, hits that subscribe button. I can't thank you guys enough. You guys know I pretty much traded on every single crypto exchange since the beginning of crypto history. I mean, I even was on Mt. Gox and launched, <laughs> lost a couple Bitcoin on Mt. Gox when it got hacked. That being said, I can honestly tell you guys, I buy bits the best of the best guys. I wouldn't trade, actually trade, trade as a day trader, hodler, swing trader. 
I would not trade crypto period if I was not using Bybit or if I could not use Bybit. So I'm sure the day is going to come down when you can't do anything and whatever the case may be, you can't use Bybit. But thank gosh, I travel the world a lot and I'm always in different countries. So it's a pleasure to be using Bybit when I actually can quote unquote use Bybit. So love you guys. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Peace.